remarkable international event it is. Uh, all of us uh, here tonight, people from all over the world joining together, uh, that will capture the attention uh, of the world as no other does. Tonight we come together to celebrate our shared interest in the organisation and delivery of wonderful sporting events. And what better place to do so than in this amazing city. What a fantastic thing it is to have so many people from so many parts of the world, so many leaders in various fields. We've got the sports ministers from Brazil, the UK, Russia and Australia in the presence of the United Kingdom sports minister. Very likely our finest diplomatic premises in the world and it's the longest continuously occupied uh, diplomatic premises in London. We're very proud of it and we're very proud to welcome you here. I'm thrilled to be here today representing the Australian Government. Uh, the unifying feature of many other countries is all kinds of different things. Some are bound by a common ethnicity, a common religion, common love of a monarch or a leader. The binding force in Australian life is sport. Somehow it's in the marrow of our bones. I don't know why it's there, where it came from, but it's in us and we love us. Particularly over the last decade or two, we've garnered great expertise in all of the smallest parts and the largest parts of putting on major sporting events. And what today is about, this afternoon is about, having all those peoples from the leaders of all those fields in the one room at the one time. And so we hope from those of you from other nations who are leaders in your own fields tonight, you'll uh, meet and talk to them. Australia does have a fantastic track record. We've had over a thousand significant contracts and projects that have been delivered by Australian companies spanning 40 major sports events since the year 2000. Australian companies have created some of the most iconic landmarks and productions in international sport. You all remember the fabulous water cube in uh, Beijing, the aquatic centre there. That was done by PTW Architects. Opening and closing ceremonies of Vancouver, David Atkins Enterprises. We've got all around the room, we've got all kinds of electronic gear where you can get a better idea. Welcome to our humble uh, quarters here at Australia House. So proud to welcome you to London too. No, no, the British have done a remarkable job. It's a marvellous Olympics. It's going to be a huge success. They've only done it with enormous Australian assistance. We're very proud as Australians. We're proud of what we did in Sydney, of course. Uh, it's a joy for me as the High Commissioner here. And Minister, I thank you very much indeed uh, for coming to London at this time. Tonight we come together to celebrate our shared interest in the organisation and delivery of wonderful sporting events. Australia has a proud track record of hosting wonderful sporting events and this week is a reflection of the legacy of our own Olympics in 2000. We developed then and we're developing still our very strong reputation for taking our skills, drive and expertise to help other nations all over the world achieve magnificent sporting events. I believe Australia and Australian businesses are well placed to do just this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's times like these that remind us how truly inspiring and transformative sporting events can be, not just for those who participate, but for the cities, the countries, the nations, and indeed the entire world that are part of that experience.